It's Adam Hike with the American Golf Federation. And in today's performance and fitness tip to help improve your golf game, we're gonna work on T-spine or thoracic spine mobility. So I've got a quick few basic exercises that you can do around the house to not only improve your general fitness level and posture, but also improve your golf game. So have fun with these exercise demos and be sure to incorporate them into your routine this week. Thanks for joining me. All right, so for this first exercise today, I'm gonna have you lay all the way down onto your side. So just nice and easily lay down. I want you to bend your knees in front so that your heels are in line with your hips. From here, you're gonna relax, placing your palms together. I want you to inhale slowly, and then exhale, rolling into an open position. Okay, inhale, back, through neutral and exhale rolling open ideally I want you to be able to open up so that both palms can relax softly on the floor while keeping your knees together you should feel a nice stretch through the chest and shoulder region and potentially through that hip and low back region as well if you're able to keep your knees together I want you to perform about 8 to 10 of these per side and remember to focus on your breathing pattern. The second exercise I have for you today is from your hands and knees. With your knees directly under your hips, palms directly under your shoulders, I want you to take one hand behind your head. Extend that elbow off your shoulder. I want you to inhale, rotating that palm, rotating your elbow towards that opposite palm, and then exhale, rotating your head and elbow up away into the sky. Try to keep that opposite arm long the entire time, okay? So we're just working on rotation here. As you rotate up, you're gonna get, again, that nice stretch through that chest and shoulder region, and hopefully through that thoracic spine region as well, you're gonna to start to feel yourself open up, come into a neutral posture, and work on the rotation. Again, we're going eight to 10 reps, focusing on your breathing. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale, open, inhale. Okay, nice and smooth transitions. Be sure to perform the exercise on each side. All right, so the final exercise today is gonna to be in a slight lunge position. Now, depending on your knees and hips and your current fitness level, you may not wanna drop into that full lunge. So, if you need to, you can stand a little closer together for some balance that issues you may have. But either way, I want one foot out in front, okay, with your toes pointed straight forward. We're gonna start with just a rotation around the knee. So inhale, exhale, rotate. Okay, it's a nice easy move. Again, if you can, I want you all the way down into a low lunge. Try to keep those hands behind your head and press those elbows back. Again, that's opening up, pulling our thoracic spine region into proper alignment, okay, coming out of C posture and into the neutral spine angle. That helps with our rotation during the golf swing. So make sure you're attempting to open that up by pressing those elbows back away from you as you rotate. Now if you're more advanced or you want to get a little more caloric burn or increase the benefit of your exercise routine today by adding dynamic movement pattern, coordination, and stability, we're going to enhance it by throwing in a full lunge full knee raise with rotation. So from my left leg in front, I'm gonna reverse lunge. My right knee comes up, exhale, there's that rotation we're working on. Reverse. Okay, I'd like to see that knee get up to 90. Now again, take it at your own fitness level, that's just a way to enhance it if you're at the appropriate point in your routine. So have fun with these exercises either way. Be sure to incorporate them into this week's routine to improve your golf game this week. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.